Hi everyone, in this video we will briefly discuss about vSphere data stores. So data stores are basically logical containers or the storage unit which are used for storage. Yeah? But what we store there, so we store there the VM, the VM stands for virtual machine, we store there virtual machine templates, we store there ISO files and some other things. And this storage can be based on a single hard disk drive HDD or this can be based on a, on a single SSD solid state drive or we can have multiple HDD or SSDs to store they can be used for storage now this storage can not only be just provided by hard disk drive or maybe using and directly attached storage which we write like this directly attached storage they can also be uh, provided by network attached storage and also by storage area network so NAS or SAN so this is uh, some picture I have taken that is about NAS and now these SAN and NAS are again some storage services or devices but here the storage is basically accessed using some network they are not directly attached to to the hosts for instance so once we have this storage, we need some file system, for example in Windows based machines in Windows, we have NTFS file system. So in the same way, we, we need to have some file system and file system is something which controls that how the data is saved on that storage and or how the data is retrieved from that storage. And in this case, for example, we can have VMFS file system that is a VMware virtual machine file system or we can also have network file system NFS which we'll be discussing in some other videos but once we have a storage we need some formatting we need some file system so we can have VMFS or NFS and now once we have this data stores so let's say maybe if I write here this is complete data store say so this this is a data store from here to here yes now this data store can be used by a single ESXi host. So we have discussed about ESXi host and we installed in our some previous videos. So that can be shared by a single ESXi host or this can be shared by multiple ESXi hosts. And on these ESXi hosts, we can have single virtual machines or they can have multiple virtual machines on all these ESXi hosts. And now these EXI ESXi host uh, has virtual machines and then these virtual machines are stored using VMDK files. So these VMDK files, so actually this stands for VMware virtual machine disks and they are just like hard disk drives in our computer which we are using. For example in my case in laptop that's like hard disk uh, on my machine. And now you can see here this virtual machine might have this VMDK and this VMDKs are basically saved on this data stores and that data store actually is comprising of and the hard disk drive or the directly attached storage or storage area network or network attached storage. And the further components like this, this and all these things we'll be exploring in maybe in our future videos. So thank you, thank you very much for your time.